one of the words the Lord gave me in 2009 when I went to pray for the nation, he said, there's going to be huge climatic changes that are coming. And when nations could feed themselves, they will no longer be able to because of the hurricanes, because of the droughts, because of crop failure. And he said, your nation will feed the world. Whoa, that's heavy. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. I mean, don't, <laughs> don't. This is a Christian thing. <laughs> Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh, uh, we, yeah. don't, we don't edit this show, so okay, there you <laughs> that's going to for sure be in there. There uh, you go. But, no, I love it, though. That's real. That's, so, that's a, that's a, and that's the way to put it because it's, it's something that's very... um. It's happening. Yeah, it's happening yeah. and it's heavy. You know, it's like... I don't think we know how to talk about it because the, um, let's stay here for a second. I don't know. I don't think we know how to talk about the whole like climate change thing that's happening or because it's been so uh, politicized and yes. manipulated right. and uh, there's even weather modification. There's um, there's like a lot of that is <coughs> man-made. <coughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. And like chemtra chemtrails that are like killing crops. And right. Like, On purpose. Yeah. Even the Maui stuff. That's a little sketchy. Yes. Yeah. The fires over there. That, yeah. that, that don't seem that don't seem natural. That seems very like, hey, we want this land. We're going to rebuild this land. We're going to take take out the locals, you know, like. Yeah. I don't know. Everything seems a little sketchy recently with right. with the whole weather thing. You know, even with the EVs and stuff like that. Sorry, Taylor. I know you have a Tesla, but um, <laughs> even with the EVs, like the agenda with that and stuff like that, with the kill switch, like everything just seems a little off about the whole agenda. Correct. It doesn't seem like they have their best our best interest in mind with it. Right. And it seems like they're weaponizing it against us. Would you Would you elaborate on that a little bit more? One hundred percent. I agree with you. When the Lord gave me that word, the word climate change wasn't even a thing, really. I mean, I think Gore was starting to talk about it, yada, mm -hmm. yada. It was like global warming back global then. Global warming, yeah. yeah, which I don't particularly agree with, and I don't agree with the term climate change. But the Lord said there would be climatic changes. Mm. He never told me at that point, they're actually going to be man-made, and it's going to be part of the whole global reset. But it looks like that's where we're going. Right. So my heart is... Let's get Zimbabwe on the road. Let's get this area set up to where we are the Josephs. Zimbabwe's called to be a Joseph generation, mm -hmm. a Joseph nation. Can I just prophesy for a minute? Go ahead. Prophesy on the people real quick. Go ahead. <laughs> Zimbabwe, you are called to be a Joseph nation. One who is coming out of the ashes, rising out of the ashes of communism and coming to that place where you are trusting in the Lord because you have nothing else to trust in. And as you give what you have, God will multiply it. And you will not only bless yourselves, but you will bless the world. Mm. Amen. We receive in Jesus name. So when you say corruption, in Zimbabwe, I, so I like economic news. I like to kind of pay attention a to lot the of history of cycles when it comes to like money printing. And yes. Zimbabwe, you um, you shared with me that they used to be um, one one of the Zimbabwe currency was like or uh, was two American dollars essentially. Like Zimbabwe's currency used to be so strong that yes. it was even better than the USA's. Correct. When I lived there. My husband's parents, who became missionaries to my nation, that's how I met my husband, they had to pay two Rhodesian dollars, to two American dollars to get one Rhodesian dollar. Oh, wow. That's how strong our currency was. It was right on par with the British pound, um, any German Deutschmark. It was right on par with all that. We were a first world nation and very much involved with the whole agriculture and mineral wealth of the, of the world. And so we saw Russia and China come in and say, we promise you this, this, and this, and this. But only 1% of the people have experienced that, and the rest of the people they've not taken care of. So Rafael Mthambeni and I, because inflation has come in um, to the point of having trillion-dollar bills that could barely... Buy a loaf of bread. Buy a right? loaf of bread. Yeah. Uh, our heart is, let's dig up the soil. Let's get the locals who are farmers anyway. Let's teach them how to do this with technologies actually that came out of Israel. That's why Israel is blooming with the slow drip irrigations. That's why the land is so beautiful. We have taken that technology to my nation. Wow. 
That's powerful. It is beautiful. Yeah. So, so when you see the inflation that's happening now in America, how is that? What is the writing on the wall that something like that could happen here potentially that like it happened in Zimbabwe? Yes, it is parallel, actually. Um, if you don't mind share, me sharing another prophetic word, Cindy Jacobs, prophetic woman, really to the nations. She was in Argentina in, in 1980, 1989, and she's at a huge conference and she stopped and she said, the Lord's given me a word about Zimbabwe. I know nothing about Zimbabwe. She said, what he showed me is as Zimbabwe goes, goes America. Whoa. I don't like that prophetic word. Mm. <laughs> me neither. But she said, but God is raising up a, a battalion of Deborahs. So women and men, but specifically a battalion of Deborahs who will stand in the gap. And before Zimbabwe is destroyed, the Lord will bring it through. But mm. if but if if America does not align with the will of God, they will be also experience a lot of this. So one of the takeover situations is anarchy, messing the money up, confusion, division in a country, polarizing parties to where nobody trusts anybody and there's just total confusion in the land. I think we're seeing that already. We are seeing that now. Yeah. And so my voice for years has been, don't let this happen in America. I already know what it looks like. Thank you so much for supporting our YouTube channel. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. If you would like to see another short clip from this episode, you can do so here. Or if you want to see the full conversation, you can do so here. And make sure you subscribe on Patreon if you'd like to partner with us. You can do that at the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you.